If your smart home integration seems to be working incorrectly, you'll want to look at your project logs to see what the exact error is. Let's take a closer look at the process of accessing these event logs and using them as debugging tools. For this, uh, we'll go through our logs explorer. This tool does have two main sections, a query field to write queries to search through your logs, the one on top, and a query results window that shows the logs matching your queries. On the query field, I'll write partner response missing device in quotation marks, then run my query. As you see, it was able to identify the error log matching this execution flow. You can click on it to expand the fields. As you see, the log provides some useful information like what was the device type, the device trait associated with this execution, what's the latency, as well as the request ID that you can follow up in your own server as well. Each of our error logs, you'll see a status field with a status type, which matches our error code, and an external debug string, which contains the error description. This one says JSON response does not include the device. So there might be something wrong when we were preparing our G JSON response. You saw an example conducting a string match as a filter. Similar to this, we can also fetch certain fields within the log, like is success equals false and device type equals light will give us the error codes coming from light. As you see, we can combine these prompts with Boolean operators, such as AND or NOT, and numeric fields, you can use comparisons. Latency millisecond greater than 300 will get you the logs that has a higher latency numbers, for example. Google does provide a query library, by the way, that has many different examples. Uh, you can see the link below to follow up on that. For more tips on using event logs, check out the resources below. If you have any questions, or if you want to see what everyone is building, join us on Reddit or follow us on Twitter. Hope to see you there.